Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me. Well, actually, no, welcome to the seventh installment in the Tala podcast. I'm your host, Tala. And, um, yeah, this is this is the seventh episode of the Tala podcast. Um, I've probably spoken in the podcast for a total of, like, like, two hours. Wait, wait, no, how long? Like, two hours in total. Well, probably just over two hours if you, like, listen to the Tal podcast, just like binge listen to it, that would be pretty cool. Um, anyways, today I had an, I, I felt compelled to make another podcast episode because I was at the gym today and I was thinking about my workout routine that I've probably shared with you guys a bajillion times already, but I figured it would make a pretty cool idea for a podcast episode. Um, but yeah, today I, I actually did an amazing, epic, epic, epic workout today. Um, I'd like to say thanks to my dad for taking me on the days that my mother does not feel compelled to take me to the gym. Because usually, um, like, uh, the days I go to the gym, I like going on um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Because that's the days my, like, those are the days that I know that I'm genuinely going to go because like my mom my mom takes me those days she makes time to go to the gym with me which I enjoy it's a fun bonding activity um but on the other days um in which my mother does not go to the gym I feel sad and so my father takes me sometimes so thank you dad um Anyways, my routine, we, oh yeah, that's right, um, usually I start off by walking in there, into the gym, it's, it's a very nice gym, I'm usually extremely cold, I wear the exact same thing every day, which is usually, um, legging, like, sports leggings, my mother sold sports leggings, as well as a Converse tee, and my zip-up hoodie, and then I'm freezing cold, and so I walk into the gym to get warm, um, it smells like medicine, and it's quite cold because there's, like, a bajillion fans everywhere. Um, and then once I get inside the gym, immediately I put my stuff down, and then I go to the treadmill. Um, I run on there for, um, usually it's 15 minutes if I'm going with my mother, but if it's a Sunday or if I'm going with my dad, then I'll just run for 20 minutes because I love cardio. It's fun. And then after doing that, I'm warm, I take off my zip-up hoodie, and I go, I proceed to use the weight machines. All of the weight machines, there's seven of them. My favorite ones to do uh, the lat pull-downs. Those ones are super fun. I enjoy it because, it, I mean, it's kind of annoying having to adjust all of the machines. Like, and sometimes, like, the machines, they are a bit big, but that's alright because they still work properly. Um... And there's this tension thing that my dad was telling me about that I should focus on. And I start doing that. It's, it's, it's like, it's where you go, like, um, it's, like, heavier on the weight machines. And, like, just slower when you're, um, like, like, fat. Like, no. It's, like, when you go, like, fast, like, a normal speed to actually, like, pull. But then, as, like, it's slower on the release, so you actually feel it. I've been doing that. It works really well. So, yeah, I spend, I don't know how long, doing all seven of the weight machines. Usually it's about, um, eight to ten, like, I, I used to do it just until I felt sore. But then, like, the personal trainer dude there told me that it's better to do it in reps. And so he told me that I should just be doing, like, um, eight to 10 reps and three sets so that's what I'm doing um it's fun and then after I finish the weight machines then I go on to those the there's like these pulley like like it's a pulley thingy and they're fun they're yellow um it's kind of hard to adjust them but like you can do like like pulling thingy like you stand and you hold them and then you lean back and you pull yourself up that's really fun you can also do assisted lunges on them and so i do some of those as well just with the same amount of um eight to ten reps and three sets um and then afterwards like th it, it all depends on machine availability but i do try to like squeeze in all of the exercises um but then i go on to the dual weight machine thingies it's like this it's this massive machine or well, it's two machines and it has it's a pulley thingy and you attach a little hook 
onto it and the hook provides a like a, like a handle thingy and you grab onto the handle and you can it, it, you just pull it it's fun and I enjoy it um and and I do like there's like different because like you can like move like when you're pulling it you can pull it in different directions and so like you can pull it to your face or to your hips or wherever and so I just do that um, and it's fun, and then afterwards, I go onto the bench or whatever, with handheld weights, and, like, I just, uh, you, you, I just do something on there, like, I lay down, and then I pull the weight, like, I push the weights up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and it's, 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 it's quite fun, um, and then also with the handheld weights, I just do the tricep curls, I mean, of course I do more, like, handheld weight stuff at home, but, yeah, I, I do it at the gym as well. It's fun. Um, and then banded kettle squats, kettlebell squats. You know, you put the band around your thighs or whatever. And then you squat down and you hold the kettlebell. 24 of those. And then there's this other thing where you, with, with the band still on. Not with a kettlebell, but where you just, like, walk. Like, just walking from side to side. It's it's fun, and you can... Well, I don't really feel it, but you're supposed to feel it in your legs or something. I don't know. Um, and then after that, I run on the elliptical for 15... Like, 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how much time the other person at the gym wants to... Sp- like, one my... Like, whether it's my mom my dad, however long that they want to take... They want to spend at the gym. For the remainder of the lesson, or like, the session, I will just go on the elliptical. It's fun. You can play Sudoku on it. Sudoku... Like, on the elliptical, you can just... You can you can run on there. But then on the screen, it, it has Sudoku on it. And you can play it. So you're exercising your mind and your legs and your arms and just whatever it's it's I enjoy it I think when it's nice um and 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 that's the end of it and then I go home and then usually we have dinner or something depending on what time of day it is I'm not gonna have if if we're going in the morning I'm not gonna go home and have dinner instead I'd probably go home and have a lunch um but I'm sure you all knew that um uh also like on my, on, on, like, my other videos about, like, where I shared my workout routine or something, um, a lot of you guys were leaving comments saying that, um, if I, if, if, if I keep up this, uh, workout schedule, then I'm gonna end up looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I was thinking about that today at the gym and I chuckled to myself because it reminded me of, um, like, in my English class, right, like, um, there are a bunch of posters on the walls, like, biography, like, things that, like, posters that, posters that other students have made, and they're, like, biographies of, like, different people or whatever. One of those posters was a, um, biography on Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that's just sitting in my class all of the time, and I remember the other day, I actually have heard a bunch of kids in class, um, and they were, like, paying each other to, um, like, say his last name, as, 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 like, a joke, you know, since, like, I, I, I'm a teenager, I go to school with other immature teenagers, that is the kind of stuff they do, so a bunch of kids earned, like, one dollar, just from saying Arnold Schwarzenegger's name, <laughs> I don't understand my classmates, but that's all right, um, yeah, I, uh, guys, um, by the way, um, listening to music as you work out, it's fun. You see, at the gym that I go to, usually, like, the only stuff they play, it's either, like, 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 Chris Brown or some sort of, like, um, uh, house music. Like, the, the house music is in, like, the kind of stuff my brother listens to. Um, what, um... What are those dudes that my brother listens to again? Um, there's like, um, oh yeah, that's right, Chase and Status. They play a lot of Chase and Status at the gym that I go to. Um, and I remember one time my mother forgot her headphones and so she, she just listened to that. And it's, it's actually quite nice. I enjoy the fact that they play that. 
I, I like that they play music in the gym. It's nice. It's nice. Um, but I like to take my MP3. You see, on the, on the days that I go to the gym, like school days or whatever, I actually have to restrict the use of my MP3 player during school time, so I can only have my like I've 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 made a deal with myself that if I'm gonna go to the gym, then like I need to only use my MP3 player for two to three periods during that day, so that it does not run out of battery while I'm at the gym. Um, and yeah yeah anyways so like you see initially like with the music that i listen to at the gym right i mainly listen to black veil brides set the world on fire like the entire album on repeat because that's like my favorite album of all time ever um oh yeah by the way the other day it was set the world on fire's 13th birthday happy birthday um go listen to it anyways but then after a few like sessions or whatever like um, I just realized that, like, Andy Biasek's voice is just, like, so soothing, and, um, I, I was, I was, I was falling to sleep. Not in a bad way, as in, like, a calming way. I like his voice. It's just that when I'm working out, I, I, I'd like to feel energized and not EP. Um, <laughs> So, of course, I needed to find different music to listen to to make me energized while I work out. And usually it's, uh, I, I like Motionless and White. Um, but, like, I, 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 Reincarnate is an amazing album to listen to while you work out, I think. Um, but now I've noticed a lot I'm listening to, um, Asking Alexandria's Stand Up and Scream. I love Asking Alexandria. Um, because... Like, I mean, come on, like, don't, don't, don't we all just love having, like, British dudes screaming into our ears as we work out? It's, it's nice, it makes me feel energized while I'm working out. Um, it's totally epic, I enjoy listening, I mean, I endorse listening to Asking Alexandria as you work out. They make epic music. Um... Speaking of asking Alexandria, it, this reminds me of this funny story from the other day that I forgot to tell you guys about, but basically it was, like, this Saturday, like, last Saturday, um, I was doing, I was coming back from doing, um, groceries with my mom, right, um, and I was inside, like, my dad was at work, probably, I was inside unpacking the groceries, my mother, she was outside, sometimes coming inside, to, um, bring me the groceries to pack away, it's very nice, it's, it's amazing, um, and as I was packing away the groceries, I, I also had my mp3 player out, and I was listening to some Asking Alexandria, um, it was right at the end of, um, Not the American Average, I, of course, needed to sing along, well, actually, I wasn't singing, I was death growling, um, but then my mom walked in, and she stared at me. I immediately stopped what I was doing and I looked at her. And she looked at me. We were looking at each other. Um, and and then she gave me a look of shock. And she was just like, Dawa, are you okay? What's up with you? And I was just like, oh, n nothing, mom. I'm good. And then she was just like, okay, if you say so. And then she walked back out. And I continued singing. And that was nice. I hope that she really liked my epic singing, screaming, growling, whatever I was doing. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, I tried some tea today. It was, it was like, it was this red seal tea. Um, that's not the flavor of the tea. The flavor of the tea was passion fruit and vanilla. Red seal is a brand that makes it. But I found that, like, like, surprising because... Red Seal, isn't that, like, a toothpaste brand? I remember I had, like, Red Seal toothpaste once, and it was very tasty. I tried the kid's toothpaste because my uncle found some free samples of that, I think. Well, actually, I he, he bought, like, three different containers of, like, the Red Seal kid's toothpaste, and he gave it to me to try, and I really liked it. It was very tasty and very flavoured. Um... I don't know if my mom liked it, though. But I, I, you see, the thing with toothpaste, right? I don't like minty toothpaste. It tastes icky yucky. I much prefer to have bubblegum flavored toothpaste or berry flavored toothpaste or just other toothpaste that, that does not taste like toothpaste. 
um, uh, what's it called? Like, um, toothpaste, it, it tastes nice. When I was a kid, I used to eat toothpaste, like just straight toothpaste. Do you guys remember those bean boozled things? And they had the, there was like an option of like blueberry or toothpaste. Well, instead of actually playing a bean boozled game, I would just eat all of the blue jelly beans because I wanted the toothpaste ones. I've never liked blueberries, but I do like, like, like toothpaste. And so, um, yeah, that was nice. I, uh, speaking of, um, that bean boozled stuff, I remember a few years ago in class, um, my teacher, Miss Davies, like, she used to pull out the bean boozled things, and if some kid did something, then she would be like, okay, you get to, um, play bean boozled, um, and so a lot of kids, like, it, I don't think it was in the actual container, it was actually just in a little plastic baggie, and it had a bunch of the jelly beans in it, and if you were chosen, you could, like, pick one, like, pick a jelly bean and taste it, and I was always excited to, to do that, because I remember there was, they were, like, red ones, and I always went for the red ones, because the choice of that was either strawberry or blood, which is win-win, um, but I always felt sad, because I actually wanted the blood one more, because I figured that that would taste way yummier, um, as opposed to the strawberry one, but I always keep getting strawberry, and I never got to try the blood one, and that was, that made me feel sad. I, like, I remember, I'm pretty sure it was, like, two years ago or something, my brother, he had, like, as a Christmas present, he actually bought one of the bean boozled thingies for me, um, it was delicious, I remember one time my cousin, like, one of my cousins came around, I don't really know who that, who the kid was, um, since I don't, like, speak to, like, any of my other family members, other than my immediately, in my immediate family, because I don't see them, I don't see my other family members, but one time my cousin came around, and we played Bead and Boozled, and, and that was, that was fun, um, I puked, I think, I don't know, I don't remember, this was like last year, I don't remember that, um, I also remember playing Bean Boozled another time when I was like six and I was in a hotel and I had it for some reason. I, I, I just, I remember I had the Bean Boozled game and that was the time that I remember eating all of the blue ones because the toothpaste was tastier than the, um, than the, um, blueberry ones. Um, do you guys like blueberries? Or oh, actually, no. Comment down below. What is your favorite berry? Personally, I don't know berries. I know that there are strawberries and raspberries and pineapples and blueberries and blackberries and other berries. What even is a berry? I don't know. Do grapes count as berries? Because grapes are quite similar to blueberries. They both have like a cool color tone. And they are sweet, and they have a pip in them, and they are dark, and they are small, and they are round. So I figured that grapes would be berries. So, if so, then grapes, um, well actually, there are different colors of grapes. There are like green ones, and red ones, and purple ones, actually. But are grapes even berries? I don't know, but pineapples are somehow berries. Why are pineapples somehow berries? Did you guys know that pineapples have seeds? I'm pretty sure you can plant pineapples from anything, like, from any part of the pineapple. Like, you can cut, a, like, a bit of the pineapple off, and you can, like, plant it, like, from anywhere, and, like, I, it's said to grow. Or is that just for the- actually, no. I don't think it's just for the stem, because there are also little seeds along the, like, the- the rind or something. Um... But anyways, I think that my favorite berry might just be a strawberry. Because, like, I don't really like strawberries, but Monster Energy Ultra Strawberry Dreams, I really, that's like, that's delicious. It's one of my favorite, like, hey, look, this podcast episode is about to end soon. Damn. Um, Ultra Strawberry Dreams is delicious. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-bye.